In recent weeks, Danish citizens have been on edge following the hospitalization of Queen Margrethe due to an unfortunate incident at Friedensborg Palace. The fall resulted in a left arm injury and a minor cervical vertebrae issue, prompting immediate medical attention. King Frederick, however, reassured everyone, stating, I spoke with her, and from what I've heard, she's doing fine. But wait, didn't he miss visiting her in the hospital? What does this mean for the royal family and their duties? Stay tuned as we unravel the layers of this unfolding story, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on the Danish monarchy. As the queen begins her recovery, she faces a challenging road ahead, requiring a cast for her arm and a neck brace for the next few months. This unfortunate timing has led to the cancellation of all her official engagements, including a significant event, the wedding of King Frederick's niece, Princess Theodora of Greece. With many European royal families expected to attend, it's a disappointing turn of events. How will this impact the royal family's public image? While the queen recuperates, King Frederick made a surprising decision to embark on a private vacation, leaving the country for a few days. Why would he choose to leave during such a critical time? His whereabouts are being kept secret, adding to the intrigue. Initially, it was assumed that Queen Mary would accompany him, but with Crown Prince Christian away in Africa, those plans changed. Instead, Queen Mary has stepped into a vital role as regent during his absence. This marks a significant moment for Queen Mary, who is taking on the responsibilities of the state for the first time since becoming queen earlier this year. As regent, she will manage the kingdom while King Frederick is away. This is reminiscent of when her son, Crown Prince Christian, took on similar duties during his father's trip to Poland earlier this year. Can Queen Mary rise to the occasion and showcase her leadership skills? In 2019, then-Crown Princess Mary signed a declaration at a state council meeting, demonstrating her commitment to the constitutional duties of the monarchy. Now, as regent, she is prepared to continue that tradition. The Danish royal house has long been known for its adaptability, and this moment underscores Mary's readiness to embrace new challenges while embodying the spirit of modernity. As the Danish monarchy faces these challenges, it's clear they are committed to preserving tradition while confidently embracing modern realities. This seamless transition reassures the public about the future of the monarchy, showing that the next generation is ready to uphold the important work started by their predecessors. If you're as fascinated by this royal saga as we are, make sure to subscribe for more insights into the lives of the Danish royal family and their journey through trials and triumphs.